Yuck, gross, that last video, blah. I'm so glad you guys made it through. Just a sec, I'm just gonna, just a little bit. Um, ugh, gross, but it's part of it. So now what I wanna do is kind of go through the timeline of um, the year before, the year leading up to uh, your auditions. So we're gonna start all the way back in May of your junior year. And in this timeline, guys, I did this three years ago. So this is my timeline then. Please check your own dates for when things are due, especially with financial aid stuff, applications, check on your own. But this was what my timeline looked like. So May of your junior year. So at this point, you should be kind of locking in which um, colleges you're gonna apply to, your short list. Um, so this can be anywhere from kind of like five-ish to 10-ish schools. You can do more or less, but that's about a good range. And um, to start looking at what is the audition material that they're asking for and build kind of your rep book and commit to which songs and monologues you're gonna be doing. So in general, for this process. Um, if you're doing straight acting, you'll probably need a comedic contemporary monologue, comedic, or blah, 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 comedic contemporary, dramatic contemporary, and then um, a period piece or a Shakespeare piece, possibly a period piece in a comedic and dramatic style. And then if you're adding in musical theater auditions, then you're gonna have an up-tempo and a ballot, um, you might have a trunk song, um, which we'll go through some terms of stuff if you're not sure what I'm talking about. You're like, she's crazy. It's all right. Um, and then if you're doing straight vocal performance, then you'll be looking at um, the up-tempo, the ballad, and then also an art song, a aria probably, an Italian, possibly another language as well, a French or German, something like that. So you'll want to figure out through all of your schools, kind of go through and figure out what each one is. Lock them in, start going to town. Um, okay, June, the summer of your sen before your senior year. So at this point, I would say uh, you should start working on that all important college essay. Uh, this is a great time to start working on that for the Common App. The Common App is an application that allows you to apply for a wide variety of schools with just one application. So you do want to be specific enough um, that they're looking at you for that college, but broad enough that all of the schools. So if you have a top school, what I kind of suggest is looking at their mission statement. I looked at NYU's, they're very global based, they're focused on that kind of stuff. Um, so that's kind of what I honed in on. And it has a word count. So I can't write under a word count, I turn into incoherency. So what I did was I just wrote the essay that I wanted to write and then I went through and I made the cuts and the edits that needed to be made to get down to that word count. And once you have that essay, go through and um, have a parent or guardian family member read it for you, uh, have a friend and then have a teacher or a mentor so that you can kind of get some feedback, does it sound like you, um, to check for edits, all that kind of good jazz. Um, Oh, and also once you're done, read it out loud. That really helps to make sure for you that it does sound like yourself. Then July, the summer of your before senior year. So it's time to start working on the rest of the college applications, the ones that aren't in that common app. So a couple schools will say, nope, you're doing ours. It will be ours, ta-da. Um, so for those ones, jump on them, get those rocking and rolling. And you should definitely, definitely be um, practicing your audition material and also deciding which schools you're going to go audition for in person and which ones might you do a video for. And all schools across the board look at in-person auditions first. So if you are extremely passionate about a certain school, get there. You've got to get there. You don't have to get there, but do everything you can. Um, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. August, the start of senior year, you're a senior. So um, senior year means senior portraits, right, for yearbook. So you can kind of make that double work for you and also get your headshots done at the same time. So get that headshot because you'll need it. Um, start working on your resume if you don't already have one. I can do a headshot and resume video if you guys would like, just let me know. Um, and then in September, 
You should really be done with all of the general parts of the Common App, um, but this is the time to reach out to teachers or whoever you want to have write those recommendations for you. Um, the earlier you get there, the better, because everyone's going to be asking, and you want to get your apps in as quick as you can. Um, and then I found it very helpful to make a spreadsheet of when each of my auditions were and what each one required so that as I was going through the year, I could look and find that information and check off things as we went. Might go ahead and do that. October. So it's a month before your first audition. Okay, hopefully you've been working on your pieces all through summer, right? Um, hopefully those applications are all done. And right now you just really want to be polishing that package that you're going to bring into those auditions. So um, everything from the slate at the beginning. So coming in, hi, my name is Gretchen Vosberg and today I'm going to be performing blah, 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 by blah. Um, practicing that because when you get nervous, it's the silliest things, but those can go awry and you don't need that to screw up your audition. So make sure you're going through that. Um, yes. Uh, there's also often an interview, and it's uh, in <laughs> kind of weird <laughs> uh, to audition and then have an interview. So you might practice some interview questions with friends or family. Uh, that's something that I did sometimes just in the car. I would just be like, Gretchen, where do you see yourself in five years? And I'd be like, well, um, it's silly, but might as well do it. Um, okay, when I was applying for schools, this is when the FAFSA was due, which is the financial aid. Um, but I know that they have changed that. I don't know when it is, so go check when that is, if that's something you want to apply for. I think it's in February or March. November, ah, uh, first round of auditions, super exciting. Um, so try not to freak out um, because it's ridiculous, but the schools that I got into and that I got the programs that I wanted were really the ones where I felt the most confident and I felt secure. And um, you, you know you, so do whatever you need, but for me it helps to talk to other people at the audition um, because it's interesting, it's fun, it passes the time, and it also just keeps me a little mellow. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. December. Yay. The first one is over. You made it past that first audition, but you're not done. You are far from done and you need to be smart. You are smart. So what you're going to do is you're going to think back on those first couple auditions and you're going to kind of critique yourself. You're going to say, what went well? What didn't work? What do I need to change material? Is there anything that I need to add? And you're going to make those adjustments so that for the next couple schools, you're even better and even more amazing than you already are. Every time I put the phone down, it like does weird things with the zoom. So I'm sorry for having to scroll. January. Okay, you're almost done with auditions probably if you did early admissions, which I totally advise. Um, so you've got just a couple more to go and just really dig into these last few. Don't neglect any of them because you gotta fight till the end because you never know which school is gonna end up being the school. And you may not know until you show up at the audition that this is, this is the school. You kinda just get a sense when you show up. Then, February. Okay, this is a tough time, February, because this is often when you're waiting to hear back, and it is often when you start hearing back. And we're going to do a section on if you get admitted, if you don't get in, but doing other things to kind of keep yourself busy, um, this is a great time. The rest of the year, you're pretty booked, so you can't really be doing jobs or other um, shows, you know? So this may be a time when you can go and do a show. Um, other things to be looking at are applying for financial aid, for scholarships, those sort of things. Oh my gosh, and something so important that I didn't mention is May, right after your junior year, sit down with whoever um, financials are being discussed with, whether that's just with yourself, uh, with parents, with a guardian, with grandparents, whatever it is, um, and really talk through the financial side first like before you start this journey, just so that you know where you're at. Um, and I really suggest doing one school that is a community college or is an extremely affordable option just because you never know what your situation is gonna be a year from then. And you also don't know if you're, you're young, we are young, I'm still young. Um, 
and our passions can still change. They're still moldable. Many people change their interests. So leave yourself that option, maybe even one school that's not theater related. So sorry, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. So now we are jumping right back in to March of your senior year. Um, so if you're still waiting, that sucks. It happens. Just be patient. Be as patient as you can. Keep working on um, any applications you can to those sort of things. And then we kind of fast forward to, uh, well, March and April kind of blur together. So in March and April, I would say you are either hearing back from schools or you're, um, you know which schools you're going to hear back from. And this is a great time to kind of compile um, like pro-con lists of each of them to kind of go through how did I feel at the audition, um, looking at the cost of tuition, looking at dorms, looking at uh, food, looking, talking to people who go there, getting an overall feel of each school so that when you hopefully do get accepted into every single college you applied to, um, it helps to make that choice a little bit easier and it's also just a great distraction <laughs> and then may and i'm actually gonna read this um i'm i just think it's i think i worded it pretty well <laughs> but i want you guys to hear it so may time to commit i hope this is an easy choice and that you got into your totally affordable dream school but if that's not the case this is probably going to be very hard look at the price and the program, but more importantly, think about how it made you feel. You're going to be spending the next four years of your life at this place, so make sure it feels like home. You'll know if it's right, just trust yourself. You should be really proud of everything you've accomplished this year. I know it hasn't been easy, but I hope now you see it was worth it. Oh, and happy graduation. <laughs> a little quirky, a um, little cheesy, but I wanted to read that. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the general timeline. Um, next, we're going to go into what sort of prep work I did in my insane high school schedule. I don't know how I survived. Not that NYU was much easier, but I will see you in the next one, okay? Best.